Jesse Waters isn't a fearful man. Jesse Waters isn't a superstitious man. But it's been a weird week. A high-ranking whistleblower told us the U.S. government has alien bodies locked up in a warehouse somewhere. And then we saw photos of two witches feasting on a deer carcass in Canada. And then when I got out of work, the city was shrouded in smoke. This is bad. This city is headed for a disaster of biblical proportion. Well, what do you mean, biblical? Oh. What he means is Old Testament, Mr. Yes. Mayor. Real wrath of God type stuff. Exactly. Fire and brimstone coming down from the skies. Rivers and seas boiling. Forty years of darkness, earthquakes, volcanoes. The dead rising from the grave. Human sacrifice, dogs and cats living together. Mass hysteria. What's going on here? I mean, I haven't seen this much smoke since that homeless guy burned down our Christmas tree. This morning, the sun looked like a fireball, and then last night, the moon looked bloody. All of a sudden, Democrats are putting their masks back on. Yep, they still kept their masks. Everybody's saying stay inside, but I didn't listen. Why? Because I love you. I came into the city for you tonight. I braved the smoke so you can watch your favorite show. The air quality is hazardous, quote unquote, worse than 9-11. But I said, I don't care. The show must go on. Schools are being closed, planes are being grounded, and pets are being told to stay inside. I kind of wish I knew that before I let Rookie run wild this morning. Being outside all day is the equivalent of smoking six cigarettes. So this is going to be me on Friday. First, light our cigarettes. But you're already smoking six. <clears throat> <laughs> so how'd this happen? Canada dropped a smoke bomb on us. Apparently some Canadian campers couldn't figure out how to put out their campfires. And now half their country's on fire and we're smoked out. Is Smokey the Bear just an American bear? You have so many reasons to protect your forests. Remember, only you can prevent forest fires. They also said lightning strikes were responsible for the other fires. Maybe the Canadian witches cast a hex. We just don't know. What we do know is 100 million Americans are sucking in Canadian smoke. And Trudeau hasn't apologized. Blackface has given us black lung. And we haven't heard a single I'm sorry. He's just blowing smoke right in our face. And not in a sexy way. You can't smoke in restaurants. You can't smoke in planes. You can't drop a smoke bomb on half the country. I want reparations from Canada. First China hit us with the virus, then Canada hits us with a smoke bomb. What did we do to these people? Now, Biden's been telling us our cars are polluting the air. But have you ever seen our cars do this? New York now has the worst air quality in the world. Worse than New Delhi and Beijing. So we sent Johnny outside for a few hours and told him to take deep breaths. What's going on with all this smoke? <laughs> it's terrible. I can barely breathe. I keep coughing. It feels like we're in China. I feel like I'm in Jersey. This is all from wildfires in Canada. How'd they get here? I know. Bloody Canada. Chante, man, I'm over there. Yo, they blame us for acid. They had the audacity to blame us for acid rain. Look at this. Are these the end times? Oh, I think it might be near. It's not looking good. Let God decide if that's if it's the end time. He's having trouble looking down with all this smoke. Well, I don't know about that. New York City has new crack pipe vending machines. You think this is all from everyone smoking it up? Smoking weed? Oh, there you go. You got that from the vending machine? No, I got this in Virginia. Yeah, they're lining it up. Give me a crack pipe. You got a lot of nerve. Is this global warming? I like global weirding, not global warding, warming. Fake news, there's no such thing as global warming. This is from fire from Canada. They say this might last until Friday, are you scared? For the people that got breathing problems, yes. Why should I be? They say if you're outside for 24 hours, it's like smoking six cigarettes. This is nothing, I put my mask on, I put my mask on, we survived this. You ready to break that mask out again? Da, 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 da. Okay, I'll make you feel better. Oh, uh, there you go. Now you're safe, you're protected. Now I'm protected, nothing will happen to me. You a smoker? No. Now you are. I know, <laughs> I just smoked like two sticks of cigarettes and it wasn't even mine. What do you want to tell Canada? Stop burning Burn fire safety. Oh, I don't want to tell them anything. I'm not a cool person, but you know, what comes around goes around Canada.
So what's the president doing while half the country can't breathe? Well, Biden had lunch with Kamala, and then he called a lid at 1245. Half the country can't go outside or breathe fresh air because our stupid neighbors up north. And the president hasn't said a single word about it. Because we don't have a real president. Other politicians went on TV and told us to quarantine like the good old days. Stay inside, close windows and doors, and use air purifiers, purifiers if you have them. And if you must go outdoors, wear high-quality masks such as a K95. COVID, stay home, wear a mask. Smoke bombs, stay home, wear a mask. Elections, stay home, wear a mask. Nuke strikes, stay home, wear a mask. The government's prepared for anything. Also, you got to make some money off the smoke bomb. A new study claims that a move to electric cars is not only good for the environment, it's also good for our health. Just getting off of fossil fuels, the health benefits would pay for uh, the cost of transitioning uh, there as well. This doesn't take into account, interestingly enough, uh, the impacts of wildfire smoke. More wildfires, the product of a, of a heating planet. Can you understand CNN? A liberal in Canada goes camping, starts a forest fire, smokes out America, and they tell us to pay Elon Musk. But is man-made global warming causing Canadian forest fires? Why don't you open a history book and you'll learn about New England's Dark Day. It happened in 1780, long before the Industrial Revolution. A dark cloud stretched from Maine to New Jersey, blotting out the sun. People thought it was the end of times. The sun might never come out again. They had to use candles at noon to get around because it was so dark. Eventually it passed and everything was okay. That dark cloud in 1780 was from Canadian wildfires 240 years ago. Can't blame that on climate change. Everybody was riding horses. And you might be surprised to find out over the last 100 years, there have been less wildfires, not more. The Wall Street Journal says in the early 1900s, about 4% of land worldwide burned every year. By 2021, that was down to 2.5%. So instead of obsessing over climate change, they should take a look at forest management and making sure Canadian campers listen to Smokey the Bear. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.